Sure. Newt's Emerald is a Regency romance, but with magic. So it's very much inspired by the works of George Heyer, for example, whose books I love very much. Um, so it's an adventure story. It's set in the time of the Regency, around right about 1816. But it's an alternative universe. It's not quite the England that, that we know. It's an 1816 where Napoleon has been defeated, but he's been immured in Gibraltar, in the stone of Gibraltar. Uh, he's a death magician who's been put away. This is all sort of background to the story. Uh, the story itself is about a young woman called Truthful Newington. Uh, she's an heiress, and one of the things that she is due to inherit is an emerald, a huge emerald that has magical powers. And at the very beginning of the story, her father, who's a bit of a gouty old admiral, is showing her and her cousins the emerald at a dinner party. There's a huge storm which comes out of nowhere and the emerald disappears. Has it been stolen? Has it been taken away by magic? What has happened to it? And Truthful decides that she will go to London and try and discover what has happened to the emerald. But to do so, she has to disguise herself as a man. So it's an adventure story. It's a romance, of course. There's a significant love interest who, who, who emerges. Um, and it's just good fun. It's been described as a, a fun-filled romp, and uh, I, I think that's a pretty accurate description. All, all books are challenging. It's, it's hard to, it's always hard to pick on any particular parts of a book <laughs> that are a challenge. I think they are all challenging at different times and for, and for different reasons. Um, I guess writing something even loosely historical, it's based upon real history, meant I actually had to do research, which is something I don't usually have to do because I'm working in invented worlds and uh, invented lands, and I do sort of, I do, I do lazy research where I just read a lot of stuff and then find things that are useful, but I'm never actually looking for things in particular. But for Newt's Emerald, I did have to double check that my Regency underpinnings were all, all working properly. I needed to get all those small details right to make it feel like an historical novel, even though it's an alternate history and even though it has magic, I wanted it all to fit together. And to make that work, it needed to have, have that strong historical underpinning as well. So I guess that was probably one of the, the most difficult things, or something I'm not used to anyway, double checking to make sure I get these things right. It's an interesting question. Um, truthful. Why is truthful called truthful? Um, I think when I was originally planning the book, I was thinking that there was there might be some sort of Quakerish roots or some some sort of dissenting you know, Protestant background that she would have uh, to be called truthful. That didn't actually come out in the book, but I, I discovered that once I'd called her truthful, I couldn't change her name. And this often happens to me with characters that I spend a lot of time trying to get their names right. And eventually once I've decided, yes, that is the character's name, I, might, I can never go back and change it. Even if I have second thoughts later on, I can't go back and change it. But it, it, it is her name. It seems to, it, it works for me. I, I hope it works for the, the readers as well. Not because she's amazingly truthful. It just seems to be that that's her name. She is who she is. Both, probably. Um, I'm working on another Old Kingdom book at the moment. Um, it is imaginatively codenamed Old Kingdom Number 5. It actually does have a title, but that might change. That's why we, we're discussing the title. I'm not sure about it. It's, a, it's my own title, but I'm, I'm not sure about it. And publishers are not sure about it. So um, the title has been kept under wraps. But hopefully, I'm hoping to finish that soon, in which case it will be published towards the end of next year. Um, I've also written a complete surprise book, which I can't talk about. I'm looking around to make sure no one's listening. Um, a surprise book, which I, I hope I will be able to talk about in a, in a month or so, um, which just came out of nowhere and I just wrote it very quite quickly. It just poured out of my head, um, so to speak. Uh, and I probably will also write um, another Regency romance or two. I hope I have notes for several. Um, I, I, love, I love that genre, um, I love mixing a little bit of magic with the Regency romance. Um, in my alternate history world I like a lot as well. 
Um, so probably I will be doing some more in that field as well. More, more of everything. <laughs>